that other half of me is just like I'm, I'm happy but I'm scared This is our story. We started trying to conceive around April of 2015. And take a look at the journey. So, that's a no. Um, <laughs> it sucks. It's so crazy. And I don't know if I'd be like sad just because it didn't take this long last time. So, try again. So, um, just took a pregnancy test. Today is 7 7 15. And um, I just might be pregnant, y'all. Oh my god! <laughs> I, can't. I might be pregnant. Oh my god! Not T. You look for the lines. So that's your line? Mm hmm That big yeah, dark one? That's the like the you know what do you call it? The what you got line, the control line. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got two lines. <laughs> yeah, two lines, y'all. Yeah, two lines. <laughs> hey now. Oh my goodness, Aiden losing teeth. We could probably be pregnant. Today is like... <laughs> Today is my baby sister's birthday. <laughs> today is just a Oh day. my goodness, today is just like <laughs> It is just a happy day all around. Oh my goodness. Alright y'all, so I'm about to head to the doctor. Alright, so we are waiting um, for the doctor to come in, but we probably are pregnant, y'all. She's going to do the test and stuff, so. so goofy so so yes like we said march 12th is the expected hopefully they can come aiden was a week early so march 12th that's oh. decent i remember parking in this spot for the first time five years ago and i get to do it again the last and final time
for birth defects, you know, like a Down syndrome and those type of things. Um, so we went to do that, and it was the they're going to do the ultrasound and everything. So this would have been the first time that you know we were able to hear heartbeat and you know see the baby things like that. So um, it didn't go like that. We got in a room and. She originally was going to do the um, stomach ultrasound. So when she put the she put the gel on and she went to do the, she pressed down, you know, to look. And she immediately was like, she immediately said, I'm going to have to do a vaginal. So I kind of saw the sac that the fetus is in um, when she did it because I, having a child I kind of knew what to look for um so she was like she had to do a vaginal so I had to go you know to change she left the room so I could change and she came back and did the vaginal and she's just checking and checking and I'm staring at the screen and I see what I saw with Aiden but something was missing uh, so as she stayed checking and you know she's doing different angles and she finally was just like I don't see a fetus <laughs> like I couldn't even respond like it was just what do you mean you know um she was just like I, I there's no fetus you know she was like I'm sorry you know, she was very, you know, empathetic about the situation, and I was just in shock. Like, it was just an empty sack. Never heard of that. You know, you hear people miscarrying, you know, that type of thing, but just to have a sack, to have all the pregnancy symptoms. Um, when I went to the doctor, she said my uterus had begun to expand, and it's nothing. Like, it's nothing. Like, I, it was so many emotions that I had, and, like, I was confused. That was the highest emotion that I had. Like, I was really confused. I didn't, I didn't understand, and I still don't understand because the appointment was later in the day, so I haven't even talked to my doctor yet for her to explain <laughs> what's going on, you know. It was really, it was just a crushing feeling, like, because in our heads, we knew what we wanted to try again. Um, so, to do it, and then, get the positive pregnancy test, and then to have an empty sack, I think that's what is the hardest, because, it's like, okay, was it supposed to be something, like, for me not to have miscarried, but to have this set and it's empty, like, what, you know, what does that mean? Now what? What do we do now, you know? And we wanted another child, you know? We wanted eight and a half a sibling. And, like, a part of me is nervous to try again. Just thankful that this wasn't my first time around, and I do have a like a full son. It does not make sense. It almost feels surreal. Like this just could not have happened. Like so bummed out, nevertheless. We're gonna keep trying and we're gonna pray and everything will go smooth and, and better the next time around. So after having
having an appointment with my doctor, um, I found out that I have what was called a blighted ovum, which is a form of a miscarriage. September 2nd, I had a DNC where she had to go in and um, remove the sac. Um, we got the results back and the results ended up being a molar pregnancy, which is explained right here on the screen. So, I spent September through February getting tested every month to make sure my HCG levels went down and they didn't stay up because the molar pregnancy could turn um, tumorous. So, or I'm sorry, it can turn cancerous. February 7th, I got my last results and they were negative. So that was a good thing. So, today is um, March 14th, and um, my cycle is uh, seven, eight days late. So, I decided to go and get a pregnancy test just to take it. We weren't actively trying. Anywho, I had literally just stopped y'all. So, we weren't actively trying, you know after after that after me stopping it i mean i stopped it but we we weren't like actively trying i was like well i'll stop it and then you know hey we'll just go if god sees for us to have another baby we'll have another baby because i just i'm still kind of like just nervous um and scared because i don't want to have to go through the same thing i did last time um so a part of me was apprehensive so I was telling hubby, we'll just roll with the flow. If it happens, it happens. If not, I'm not going to stress about it right now, you know, because I'm still just apprehensive because I do not want to have to have that, have to go through that again, you know. So, long story short, I went to Walmart today and got a pregnancy test just to see. Um, and can you see that? It says that I'm pregnant. Like, it literally says I'm pregnant, y'all. Like, it popped up, like, as soon as it read. Like, I bought a second pregnancy test. Um, I'm going to take it. My hubby gets off. Um, because I just, I just need to see. Like, I'm, I'm, <laughs> my emotions are all over the place right now, really. Like, my first reaction when I saw that was scared. Like, I'm happy because obviously it was meant for us to get pregnant again since we got pregnant so fast. But that other half of me is just like, I'm, I'm happy, but I'm scared. But I guess, hey, God knows what, what we want and he's going to give us, you know, Hey, if God sees fit and he blesses us with a healthy pregnancy and that's all I want. His head right here says a little arm bud and a little leg bud. <laughs> kind of like a little gummy bear. And then um, cord coming out of belly right there. Ah, your couple is the juice. <laughs> Good morning, Provillions. So... This, you know what this is? What do you keep telling mommy you want it to be? Wait. Wait, don't look at it. What did you tell mommy you wanted to be? No? Okay, what else? What did you want to share your room with? My sister. Or who? My mother. Yeah, so guess what? You're gonna have a brother or a sister. Mommy? <laughs> mommy? Mommy what? And mommy? Your mommy what? And then have a baby? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mommy's gonna have a baby. I have a 
That's why she feels like she's gonna throw up. That's why she feels like she's gonna throw up. Oh, these are the same thing. Mm -hmm. So that's the head, and then that's the arm, and that's the legs. Yeah, they're coming. As it grows, it's gonna get bigger. Yeah. See, it's upside down. That's the head. And that's the baby's heartbeat. You know how you. Uh -huh. That's the heartbeat. You ready to be a big brother? You gonna be a good big brother? Yeah.